During the fall, Beak and Skiff's apple orchards flourish and their business is booming in the walk up to winter. But when the bitter cold of central New York bears down on the Syracuse area, how does a produce business like Beak and Skiff survive? Well, fall is our absolutely crazy season. Uh, everyone's working long, hard hours, uh, whether it's harvesting the crop, packing and shipping the crop in the packing house, or dealing with the retail side of things. Um, the orchard calms down, but we do have a steady full crew of about uh, eight men that go out and trim the trees all winter long. Uh, and that can be a, a snowy, hard job, but uh, they're all pretty experienced at it. Um, and then we do our planning for the following fall in the wintertime when things are quieter. For the rest of the year beyond winter's reach, Beak and Skip is bustling with visitors. Families come from all over the area to pick their own apples in the U Pick Orchard, which sprawls over 150 acres of land. For those who don't want to pick their own apples, Beak and Skip employs a large retail staff that helps sort and collect apples in baskets for sale in their newly renovated facility, including a brand new 7,500 square foot tasting room and cafe at their Apple Hill campus. At Beak and Skip, we're very fortunate. We have 350,000 apple trees. Uh, harvest is a, obviously appears to be a short season from the outside, but we actually take that fruit and we sell it all 12 months of the year. Uh, we use specialized storage units which, uh, which ripen the fruit over time and allow us to move that fruit to market. Now in addition to our fruit, we do uh, about a million gallons of cider here annually at Beacon Skiff. Uh, we take that cider, which is fresh right off of our farm, we put it into one of our fermentation tanks here. The general concept with making hard cider, you want to take sweet cider and ferment it into a hard cider. Uh, this normally takes about seven to ten days. We put the cider in this big old tank right here. We add a uh, fast-acting yeast to it. And what we're doing is taking the sugar in that sweet cider and we're turning that sugar into alcohol. The process takes about seven to ten days. Once we have our hard cider ready to go in here, we hook up our tubes, we pump our hard cider right across the way into our copper pot still. Uh, this copper pot still is the uh, top of the line, made in Germany, it's the best money can buy. Now we use a triple distillation process. So the first time we distill the hard cider, we are literally boiling off, isolating the alcohol. It's going to vaporize, it's going to run through our tubes, and it's going to come down our stripping column. You're going to get a product after your first distillation that tastes a lot like brandy, has a heavy, heavy apple smell to it and it's absolutely delicious, just very high in alcohol. The off-season can be a difficult time for farmers. A lack of crops doesn't mean vacation time for a produce farmer. Right now, we're in the kind of the calm before the second storm. So we, the, 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 the season, the apple season actually starts now, it starts about Thanksgiving, and it goes all the way through next year until we have apples and until harvest ends. So right now we are actually starting next year's apple crop. We're waiting right now, doing other things so the trees are completely hardened off. And so cold weather like we're having right now is really good for shutting down the trees. While caring for the crops is a necessity to ensure the next year's apple crop will be successful, it is not the only thing on the Beacon Skiff family's minds. It's true the apple picking business has been the base for their success since 1979, but over the years they've found that a good business model will overcome any obstacle. The families have definitely found their way to enterprise and create new products that help them sustain when their crops have gone dormant. We've made a huge investment up top right now in our apple picking business. We do about a million dollars annually up there. It gross, gross in sales. Uh, our liquor business is small today, but we think within a five to seven year period, we can get to the point where you know those are our two staples here, our two key pillars, our apple picking business and our liquor business. Um, obviously, over time, I'm hoping that you know, we can grow our liquor business to, to be the staple here at Peak and Skiff. When you walk into a liquor store, the problem is today, you're going to see 150 brands from all over the world. You're only going to see probably two from the U.S. And that's sad, and that's something that we're working on changing here at Peak and Skiff. Uh, we are we're looking to kind of transition our business over the, the course of the next 10 years. For the past 100, you know, the past 90 years, we've been primarily an apple grower and a cider producer. We see our future in the alcohol world. 
So we plan on taking the ciders that we make, uh, the liquor which we make, the vodka and gin, and, uh, and taking those to the world. And hopefully over time, those will create um, enough revenue that we can downsize our orchard a bit and focus on the things that make us a lot of money. Beak and Skip isn't the only apple orchard in the area, but with 700 acres, it certainly is one of the largest. Since 1975, these two families have helped pioneer retail sales with their U-Pick apple orchards. The future is full of opportunity for these two families, and with their alcohol business becoming a focus, they look forward to many more prosperous years. Thank you.